Welcome to the Big Four Accounting Firms podcast, brought to you by BigFourAccountingFirms.com and the Big Four Accounting Firms YouTube channel. Before we get started, just wanted to remind everybody to support us if you have a chance or if you can. Even a dollar helps. And we have a link in the description to a website called Buy Me a Coffee. It's just a way to donate to us and support us. Again, any amount is helpful so that we can keep putting out content. And there's also other ways for you to support us in the show notes to this podcast or on YouTube in the description. In today's podcast, I wanted to talk about Grant Thornton. Uh, They recently released their financial results for 2020 from the UK. And what I'm finding out is the UK is very, is very good to look at because of all the regulations they have on the accounting firms there. And what we're learning more and more, if you listen to this podcast, everything that happens in the UK and Europe, all this increased insane regulation on accounting firms is slowly making its way to the United States because it's this global environment now of ESG reporting, ethics, just government control in general is increasing. But Grant Thornton released... uh, their year-end results. And it's almost in the form of a 10K in the United States where it's just a complete financial report for the year-end. And Grant Thornton is one of the top 10 accounting firms. We know that, but they're not that big in the United United Kingdom or not as big as they are globally. And from this report, we found that Grant Thornton made $728 million in 2019. And that number went down significantly to $496 million in 2020. We all know why this is because of COVID-19. But another important thing that I wanted to talk about is the partner pay, because that's what we learn in the UK. They have to disclose partner pay. And they don't have to do that in the United States yet. But And they don't even release these reports in the United States. I, I can't imagine... What's going to happen when the partners in the United States have to start filing stuff like this? <laughs> uh, the partners that I know in the United States are, would would lose their mind because they don't want people. They don't. It's already tough to motivate associates and staff in the United States, and I'm sure it is in the UK too. But uh, it's tough to motivate them, and if they knew how much some of the partners in the United States made, they would lose their mind. And you could see the partners pay uh, in the footnotes to this financial report. And in 2019, the Grant Thornton partners had an average average profit per member of 566,000 pounds. And they had to pay out retirement annuities, uh, contributions, and I guess that left them with 513,000 pounds in 2019. Well, in 2020, that amount decreased to 417,000 pounds per partner. So there's significant decrease in partner pay in Grant Thornton in the United Kingdom. We can expect that that probably happened across the globe for Grant Thornton. And this also says the profit attributable to the member with the largest entitlement was 2.7 million. So that partner must be really good. But that's pretty much the podcast for today. I want to keep it pretty simple, but I wanted to highlight this because I know a lot of people are worried about becoming a partner. They're worried about how much money they're going to make. And today we covered Grant Thornton. We we cover the other big four accounting firms on our website, but we're making a course specific to partner pay. And it's going to be related around the UK since that's where the disclosures are. But we're going to have analytics in there that help you understand the differences between the accounting firms because, as you might think, Grant Thornton partners make less than big four accounting firms partners. But how much less? Well, that's why we're putting this report together. And it's something that we could put out there uh, for you guys. And it's a way for you to help us out financially. Uh, so that's just something to keep in mind. So that's the podcast for today. Make sure to subscribe, stay up to date, check the link in the show notes for the way to financially support us through the buy me a coffee link. 
uh, one coffee equals one dollar. It's just a way you can help us so we can keep out putting out content, keep analyzing these financial reports and these news stories to bring you guys more information. So thanks for listening.